Hey y'all, how are you? It's your friend Rabbi Bregman. Um, up in the friendly skies, uh, sitting up here in the airplane. Perfect time to make a video. Uh, it's great, not too many people are expecting to hear from me on the ground right now, so excellent time to get things done. Look, one of the most common questions that I receive at least a couple times a week, at least a couple times a week is how do I get so much, how do I get so much done? I have a law firm. I, my own firm I run in New York, New Jersey, Florida, Illinois. I have the Jewish Executive Learning Network. I have Bregman Success LLC. I make videos for you. I answer hundreds of emails and Torah questions a day. I'm the matchmaker. I run the Elite and Discreet Matchmaking Service. I got a lot of things going on. Family, gym. I eat at least a couple times a day personal hygiene, go to synagogue a couple times a day. I got a lot to do. So the question is, how do I get it done? People ask me. The short answer is, I do not have any more time than you do, but I am hyper-organized. You could call it OCD, APP, 123, you can call it whatever you want to call it. But I love to be organized. See, God gives the same amount of time on a day to every single one of us. Some of us manage to squeeze in more in that time than other people. It's as easy as that. See, let's say I have to take a plane flight. I already know in advance what I'm going to do on that plane. Am I just gonna sit here and just, <laughs> some people just sit here and like, you know, there's these screens. I don't know if you can see my screen there, but it's off. Everybody pretty much on the plane comes on and I got nothing against it, but they come, they sit, they chill. They just watch whatever's on and they get, sucked into that but I don't do that I come on and I shut off my screen I just shut it off and I sit down with my to-do list I literally have a spiral notebook that I bring with me on the airplane and other places things that I have to do things I have to think about I've already worked out what are the next seven videos that I'm gonna be making in the week ahead who are people that I need to follow up with donors to the Jewish Executive Learning Network ideas that I have for my matchmaking clients, people to fix them up with, ways to expand the brand, the impact, to help more people learn Torah, to uplift people, help people be happier, healthier, holier. I'm just, that's what I'm sitting here doing on the plane. So guys, it really comes down to focus, okay? Focus, focus, you gotta focus flight, like a laser. Now off at 37,000 feet. Feel free to move about the cabin. When you are seated, please keep your seatbelt securely fastened. It's not the Thank voice you. of God. It's the voice of the pilot. With a lowercase g, he's God up here, I guess. But um, that's what I wanted to tell you. I hope this video helps. Stay focused. Wake up in the morning knowing exactly what you intend to do in the coming day. Torah says that the day, a new day, starts at night. It's an important idea. A day starts at night meaning not with sunrise, but the night before. So when the sun sets and the stars come out, that's the beginning of the Torah of a new day. Why? Why do we, Jewish people, measure the day that way? The answer is the day starts the night before. If you wake up in the morning, show up at your office, your desk, now you're gonna figure out what you're supposed to do. You're gonna putz around and before you know, it's gonna be 12 noon, you return two emails, had a cup of coffee, check Facebook and and whatnot. Now, from the night before, you should already know what you're gonna do the next day. So when you wake up in the morning, like me, it's go, push, hustle, accomplish, get some things done. Anyway, little idea for you, a couple ideas, some Torah source based on it. Get hyper-organized, y'all. Life has rich rewards for those who do and accomplish. Anyway, it's your friend, Rabbi Bregman. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with other people. And if you wanna travel me next time, I had the road to myself. I'd appreciate the company, but now it's time to get back to work. So talk to you later, guys. Back to work for me.